Okay. Good morning, everyone. Let's start our today's stand up. It's um, Wednesday, September 29. And so, who wants to go first to share their updates, their progress on what they have passed on our on the week challenge? Teshi, good morning. Uh, uh, yeah, this week, uh, no, not everything is working okay. Uh, most likely because uh, my brain is not here. It's probably on graduation. But uh, so far, I'm still mm. trying to migrate to the database. I was trying to work with the UI and create tables with the graphical user interface for Postgres and create the tables. But uh, yeah, I have an idea of how to create the script. I've just not been able to create the tables in Postgres yet. So I'm still working on the migration. Okay, ah, okay. have you tried um, like using scripts or any other external library? Uh, I'm not using an external library. Uh, the script I have is actually uh, very manual. I just connect to MySQL, connect to Postgres, and then it does the queries. So you write the queries for inserting in Postgres, and that's how that script works. Okay, that's good. Thank you, Stish, for the update. Okay. Anyone else who wants to go next? Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm also uh, watching some videos on Postgres and how to set up everything and stuff. I also have like a, a medium document that I'll follow to migrate, to, the, to do the migration. It's also uh, pretty straightforward. And uh, I think uh, it, will, it will help me to do that. Okay, that's great. So have you shared the resource on the rocket chat? I actually just found it right now, like two minutes ago. I was reading and I think it's, it will be helpful. So if it's helpful, just share us for share for share it for us on the rocket chat. Yeah, I've done that. So what about the rest? Uh, the rest in terms of? Like the rest tasks. Oh, yeah. So uh, that's what I want to do today. I want to make sure that I do the first migration. And then now I'll handle uh, migrating DBT uh, maybe in the evening. OK. Uh, um, have you gone through the migration of Redash to Superset? Uh, I haven't. I haven't just done that yet. So uh, slowly by slowly, I guess. OK. Thank you, Jaginda, for that. So anyone else who wants to go next? Kairat. Okay, Azaria, go ahead. I think I thought Kaira raised her hand. Good morning, everyone. Thank you Good morning. for hosting us today to give an update. Um, I personally um, have been working on the post sequence platform 
and the super set. So as of today, I need to find a way how to have my data in PostgreSQL. Um, I had issues with my laptop crashing because of the big data as an only. Then I had to switch from one data set, I think it was too big. And I used another some planning to make those changes to see that my data can be read uh, easily without issues with my PC. Then I can continue with my work, working with a superset. I found it a little bit more friendly, but I cannot judge because I've not yet used the other data that I had. So that is what I'm trying to, to see, how to get my data into the two platforms and then find the transformations. That's it. Thank you, Sebitenda. Mm. Azaria, you can go. Um, good morning. Uh, good morning. So, like, um, on my side, a lot of things are not working. Um, especially uh the things that I worked on last week. Um, since they were since most of them were just like, um, codes that I got from like different sources. Um, when I actually try to do some tasks for this week, something breaks on last week and it takes a lot of hours to actually fix. Um, so I haven't started migrating um, the MySQL code to the Postgres. Um, the only thing that I've done from this week's task is um, exporting the redash queries um, so that I can load them into superset and uh, configuring the superset container. Um, yeah, so progress is definitely slow on my side. Okay, uh, have you managed to like to migrate that from Redash to superset? Um, I haven't been able to, I haven't imported it yet into superset. Um, I just exported it from Redash and I have the SQL queries. Um, okay. So I'm, mm -hmm. and I've set up superset and I'm planning on importing it after this time. Okay. Yeah. Anyone who wants next? Okay, Blaze, that's fine. Anyone who wants to share their um, progress so far on the week 12 scaling. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like oh, well, one of the issues that we have been reading was like the last week we I was not able to do the whole thing, the whole pipeline, uh, because like uh, if I do the MySQL with DBT, I was not able to integrate with Airflow, and then integrating with Redash was a difficult one. So I didn't build the whole pipeline as one because I, I was doing on different sectors, like working on the MySQL and DBT, the one part, like, and then trying to integrate Airflow was so much difficult with local machine. So like what I've done is I was able to um, integrate the whole pipeline and have a working environment, like uh, writing dark scripts that can automatically create tables and load to place the data, and then uh, making the transformation using DBT. And then the next part was like visualizing the data using Redash. I have done the whole part. Now I'm working on the Postgres part. Like I, I, I managed to install that one, and now I'm trying to migrate uh, to Postgres. So, like uh, since this is a base before the, the, this is a base uh, this week's based on the previous one. Now I have managed, like uh, I'm really like managed to do that one. So. Yeah, this might be so far. Okay. Uh, anyone who wants to go next? Uh, 
anyone who wants to share uh, their progress. Uh, in between, let me ask one question. Yesterday, we were having a Q&A &A session, and almost 20% um, of um, the trainee all, only attend the Q&A &A session. And can I ask why? Can you type or just unmute yourself? Then? Okay, Michael. Um, Bunny, go ahead. Yeah. So, like, for uh, I'm going to say about my progress on the task. Uh, for me, I, uh, last week I was doing everything on Windows, and I had things the components where each component was like on its own. So this week I'm, I'm trying to integrate everything in Linux on the AWS. So I've managed to set up the uh, Airflow and uh, Airflow and DBT. And I've also managed to set up Superset. But when I'm trying to load the data using the DAG script in Airflow, I think for some reason the data is not getting into the database because the database is running. So I think that's what I'm trying to fix for now. So that I should be able to load the data into the database, and then after that, I should be able to visualize it, maybe. I think so, yeah. Have you tried, tried the migration? Oh. Uh, no, I still haven't tried the migration part, because I have to set up everything in Linux first, and then from there, that's when I have to do the migration. OK. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Anyone who wants to go next? Hello. Hello, Nabil. Good morning. Hello, everyone. How are you? How are you? Fine. Uh, me too, uh, like others. I'm having difficult time. Uh, like uh, last week's project is very much dragging me uh, because uh, I was not able to decorate the MySQL because uh, when I decorate every part, every element, the MySQL, the DBT, and the Airflow, it was not working on the Docker Compose. So I was trying to to do that in order to start the um, migrating process. And also the Redash part also last week didn't work. Uh, yesterday was uh, yesterday also I was trying to do that one so I didn't start uh, migrating but hopefully I will uh, I will finish today the redash and uh, doing the whole pipeline of last week's project okay thank you um, yes. anyone who wants to go next mm. Hello. Hello. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay. So, yeah, the same, I think, goes with me like uh, what Barakata said. Since uh, I've struggled the last week, I managed to fully dockerize and get a working uh, project on uh, Docker. And after that, I was. Uh, uh, currently, I'm trying uh, migration on Postgres. Like I'm trying to know Postgres better, like the syntax, how to use DAX and uh, insert data uh, to Postgres database. 
So mm-hmm. I haven't started the migration. I'm getting to know like how to insert data in the back and forth into Postgres. So by today, I'm a pull and I'll finish the data migration. So mm-hmm. currently, I'm looking at uh, Postgres trying a different like scripts and something like that. OK. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Anyone like who wants to to share their progress? Michael. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, good morning, Malik. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, last week uh, I had like some things that I haven't completed, like dockerizing, uh, and also uh, I haven't like fully used Airflow like to load the data. So, uh, and also working on my DAC, uh, on my DAC script like to load the data. So like uh, the last week's uh, things that I haven't completed, like I was working today and also on the visualization, I've used Power BI. So I'm trying to use uh, a rebush. So yeah, I was working on that. Uh, this week uh i think i'm able to complete it like uh, i've tried to talk to some friends and uh, yeah they have like shared some resources that helps me on that so i'm planning to work on that i'll probably finish it by to by today and also start uh, working on like uh, migrating to was great so that's the plan for today if everything works out as planned okay thank you michael It seems like uh, everyone is working on last week's challenge. Anyone from the academy who have a suggestion on this? Uh, can you come again? Like they are working on the um, last week's challenge. So, uh, mm-hmm. any if there is anything from um, the ten academic like comments or suggestions on that. Like w- working on the on last week's challenge in this particular week. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, I'm not really sure I get that. It's somehow, yeah, it's somehow related, but just to mm-hmm. help them uh, to start this week's task. Yeah, oh, okay. Um, Yabi, Yabi has ready. He raised his hand. I think he can go. Yabi. Yeah, no, I, mean, I, I think. <clears throat> can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can. Okay. I mean, I, I think it's related. For example, the Lalem's challenge is more this week than last week. And I think that migrating is learning about Postgres, because for migration, uh, MySQL to Postgres, you probably need to know a little bit about that. And definitely, last week, uh, some of them hasn't finished uh, completely. And without that, finishing that, of course, you cannot do also this week. So in some way, it's kind of a prerequisite someone has set up that one. But I think Mahala had said it correctly. It would be great to try it together, not just only in thinking about just setting up Redash, but thinking now, given that you're this week, for example, thinking about how you're going to migrate. So if you are, you know, like setting up Redash just only to do dashboard would be really doing what you have done or what you were expected to do last week. But if you are setting up Redash in such a way that you are thinking to move it to superset, then that you are solving both at the same time. So I would say, when you solve it, just don't don't sequentially, but think about, you know, like the way that, for example, Elias is at the ask, and also the day before, um, the part that is needed. If you were just setting up it manually, then you cannot migrate it. So you need to know how to export import uh, the dash dashboard, for example, or when you are doing in a superset. For example, you should uh, start thinking about how do you import it using SQL Lab. So 
So something like that, then you are solving both. But if you have just only one, sometimes it might you might not be able to do what is expected from this week, um, which is just kind of migration, learning the complexities and the issues that are involved. I think a lot of the issues that you are facing is real life issues, so which should encourage you not not you know uh, kind of make you down, because this is great. This is you know listen yourself what you are saying. You are setting up systems, tech stacks, and you know so this is not easy. But give it your best. Like don't just only you know just kind of give it some some try, but really work hard. Like make sure to use the resource that you have, the AWS, to the maximum. And if you are not, then you are wasting your resource because after after tomorrow, you're gonna struggle to find AWS resource the same as we are providing you. And that will not that means you will not learn it. So this is your your opportunity actually to really learn as much and try as much until then. So just that for myself. Okay. Thank you everyone for that. So anyone who wants like to go next and gents to share their updates. I think you have faced a very crucial point there. So, like focusing on last week's challenge is an important, but at the same time, trying to like to work those uh, this week challenge in parallel is also the real thing which we need to see. So, as much as you can, try to push yourself to get uh, um, to get you to your uh, final outcome. But uh, we would like to encourage you to refer to the, you pass the, the, those um, steps you passed, like solving the, this, setting up the redash issue, um, setting up DVT airflow together by using Docker Compose. So having those as an experience, just try to like to try to make um, uh, effective or try to make effective effort on this week's challenge as well. So anyone? I think we have time for too many more who wants to share, who have burning ideas or who have major brokers. The room is too quiet and I'm afraid to talk. Well, if no one else wants to go, maybe I can say something. Sorry, I had to run off okay. for a second. So I, I'm, I'm a little bit confused uh, because it's, it's the energy in the group has gone right down to, not to zero, but to almost zero. Um, and I, I've been asking a couple of times about what's, do people want any support about what's coming next? And I'm, I'm not getting much of an answer. So I'd love to hear from people just in the last couple of minutes, where can we be helpful? For the what comes next. But before that, I want to say a couple of things. One is that <clears throat> we will close Rocket Chat after um, Thursday. We'll move to a Telegram group and we'll be sending out the link for that soon. Friday, we do expect everyone to be there. Um, we've spent three months together. And so it's important that everyone is there. Um, yeah, this is, we, we've built this cohort into something which this is the first three months or a start together. And we would, it's important for us that everyone celebrates uh, together. Um, we want to stay in touch. This is not that the training is done. Um, as everyone knows, we have uh, this pay it forward model and the training that we have completed has only been possible because we were able to stay in touch with people from batch three 
and they've paid for this training. And so we will be in touch with everyone, not only to place, uh, to help place people into jobs, but also to stay in touch, to find out when people are getting work and also to be sure that we do get those paid for contributions back because without that, we simply won't be able to continue. Um, so it's important that everyone um, makes those contributions. So that's important. But um, I, it's, I'm finding it very difficult to read the room right now because I don't know if people are tired or people are just ready for what's next. It's a bit unclear to me. But I'd love to hear uh, from a couple of people what, what are they thinking. And I've asked the question, where can we be helpful? Um, only two people have responded, so where, uh, where can we be helpful? And while we're waiting for hands to go up, Mark, Michael, I see you. Um, so Christian, yes, we'll close the rocket check group when we move to Telegram. Um, part of me, I'm happy to do a and a tomorrow on what's next, but I don't want to do a and a with four people. It's, it's not worth it. So yeah, Michael, go ahead. Yes, so um, with what comes next, I think we're looking at the resources that Data Camp is providing. I think mm -hmm. that, that is okay for the first few months of work, but um, I mean, keeping in constant touch with each of us and then sharing our experiences, mentoring each other, and then also trying and getting in touch with um, yeah, Mabel, you, the training, um, the, um, I mean, all the uh, trainers who are here with us, I think would be enough. I, I, I can't see a specific resource which I can point to, which would be of help beyond the first two or three months, uh, apart from what we've been given so far. So I think that is my opinion. And then I, um, with, with the energy level, I think, um, I, I don't know for the others, but I, I for my end, it's more frustration because sometimes you, you feel that, okay, you've read something, you've got it right, you put it in and then it breaks down. And then it takes forever to get back. So possibly at point where you're trying to find out why things are going wrong and all that then um, you feel like oh I think this is too much I want to I want to give myself a little break and all that and then time catches up with you and all that so from my end that is it I, I'm suspecting it might be the same for most of my colleagues as well okay Thank you. I think we have time for one more person Elias Okay, morning, Yoga. Morning. Good morning. Okay, so I wasn't talking earlier because there wasn't much update from my side. Like, I've been able to export the SQL queries from Redash, and I'm still working, not, not much progress. But, like, on the care side and thinking about the future, I think everyone's focused on the project for this week. And, like, if I think we can take a break on the weekend and start talking about that on Monday, I think everyone's focus would be on that. So, like, maybe having a Q&A session tomorrow might not be that great because we'd be trying to submit the task for on Thursday. So that's my idea. Okay, that's an interesting idea. I mean, it's a relevant point. We're not, nobody's disappearing over the weekend, so why not do it next week? So maybe I'll just put, I'm going to put up a really quick poll uh and you guys can answer uh, session but this i mean this is great let's hear from people if it's not a good idea then you guys should tell us i fully agree that resting is is important um so i've just launched a poll i'd love to hear what people say but resting is important and it could even be that everyone should take a week off and go i don't know do whatever they need to do um sleep, watch movies, video games, whatever. So so, so far, absolutely nobody's voted on Thursday. So this is great. So why well, one person? So we shouldn't, let's not uh, make bad decisions. Jakinda? Uh, I, I think it's, it's, uh, it's wise what Elias has said, because uh, personally, uh, I'm a bit scared about what comes next. So right now I'm so into like trying to do this, uh, the task and all that and not think about the next thing until the next thing is there. But yeah, if we can have the session on Monday, I think 
yeah after graduation after the weekend then monday just sit down and now draw a new plan because i think that that will be helpful because now we are finishing the the three month plan that we had so finish it first and then we jump into it okay J just for interest uh Jikinda, what are you afraid of i really <laughs> it's not i hope it's not weird or funny but i really don't know it's just that but my thinking about what comes next, my I, I just have like some weird feeling in my tummy and all that, some excitement and some uncertainty. So yeah, it's not like serious, serious, but I know I can do the work. I know I can do everything. It's just, just some little jitters. So yeah, it's not, no, it's not, it's not, it's totally normal. I just want to understand a little bit more about what is it that's scaring you? Uh, okay. What's, uh, what's the worst that can happen? I think uh, from the worst that can happen, uh, not getting work, that's the worst that can happen, I think. But were you working before you joined us? Uh, I wouldn't really call it work because... So, so then you're, you're, you can't move backwards, let's say. Yeah, that's the thing, you can't, can't move backwards. Right now it's just uh, looking forward and just thinking about what's in, next in that door after Monday. So I think opening the door needs to be something that we, we uh, I need to do. And uh, regardless of what comes, I need to accept and move on. Because I think uh, with the data camp and uh, with the resources that people have been sharing, I think it's uh, enough for, for me to jumpstart my career as a data mm -hmm. engineer, so yeah. So the other thing that you guys have is, I think you have a couple of people here whose ego is resting on the line. If we can't get you guys into work at scale, then um, both Yevabel and I are going to feel pretty bad. So you have us working behind you guys because we also want to get you guys into work because this is our thing. And if you guys don't get work after all of this, then we've kind of failed. So Data Camp is fine, but you can also rely on our support. So we've shared the Telegram link. Um, we'll start using it after Thursday, but you can join now. But it's only for batch four, so don't let's not share it with other people. It's just for batch four because we'll close down Rocket Chat. Um, okay, I'm so well, back to you, Mamet. Okay, thank you, Arun, for that. So let's wrap up our today's uh, stand up. And if there is anything, just post it on the Rocket Chat. We we are ready to help. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Bye.